I, I normally talk about eating to beat disease. And today I think we're talking about drinking to beat disease because tea is something that is even more natural to consume than eating food because it's just, we got to stay hydrated. So I always have a cup with me when I try to go. So, you know, I'm a medical doctor and a, and a scientist, and I have been involved for many years trying to develop better treatments through biotech, biotechnology for diseases like cancer, complications of diabetes, and even vision loss, blindness. And we've been remarkably successful. Um, in fact, there's now 41 FDA approved treatments um, that we've been um, deeply involved with. And it's a real um, a privilege and a, and a sort of a badge of honor to um, have contributed to new medical treatments. But uh, what got me into food was the fact that I realized that we were treating diseases um, after they had, the horse was out of the barn. And I thought there was an opportunity, a great opportunity, to be able to prevent disease in the first place. And when you're talking about prevention, you really can't talk about drugs or medicines expensive, they have side effects, they need a prescription, and you know, they're, it's not as accessible worldwide. And, <clears throat> but what you can talk about is food, food and beverage. I'm using food sort of in a, in a sort of a big uh, uh, frame uh, uh, term. And what's wonderful uh, in my work is that many foods, more than 200 foods, but I think first among equals, I discovered through my own research, is tea. And what does tea do? Tea helps our body's hardwired self-defenses resist disease. So our, we're, when we're born, when we are formed in our mom's wombs, the day we're born, our health defense systems hardwired are fighting to uh, for our health. They help us resist disease. And the question isn't, you know, um, why do we get a disease? It's actually, why don't we get disease more often? And the reason and the answer to that question is because our health defenses are are really, really um, raring to go. What are those health defenses? Angiogenesis, our circulation, our blood vessels, our stem cells regeneration, um, our microbiome, our healthy gut bacteria, our DNA, which also protects us from the environment, and our immune system. These are the five health defense systems that we are born with. And <clears throat> if we have environmental um, assaults from ultraviolet radiation, sunburn, uh, fumes, pollution, all these things that we're seeing radon, uh, <clears throat> all these things that can affect our health, chemicals that we inadvertently eat, um, they actually take down our health defenses. And what we're looking for, and this is really where tea comes in, are foods that we love, we enjoy, that really mean something to us because they bring us joy and pleasure and satisfaction that elevate our body's health defense systems. And tea is first among equals. I always have a cup with me when I try to go on. So um, it's not a clear cup, but it's um, something I have literally in my side. And sometimes I like a really strong cup of tea. And sometimes I like a, a, a lighter a cup of tea. And that's why the having tea leaves, you know, the loose leaf tea is great. On the other hand, you know, if you have a tea in a bag or a sachet, um, you can also just pull the bag or sachet out. Um, uh, the one little tip that I'll tell you from the health and polyphenol perspective is if you're using tea that's in its own bag or, uh, or sachet, you want to dunk that tea um, periodically while it's steeping because that action will actually allow the natural healthy chemicals, the EGCG, to come out into the water better. Tea comes from a plant, and we know that plant-based foods are good for our health. That's now almost universally recognized. And um, the leaf of the tea, which is what we steep, and you're going to show us this, uh, Mike, nobody does it better than you. But from a sort of researcher's perspective, there are thousands of natural chemicals. We call them bioactives because they, they, they interact with our biology. And um, some of the compounds that are natural chemicals are like catechins, gallic acid, uh, theanine, and theoflavins, and they all wind up in a cup of tea when you brew it. Um, and um, some of the amazing things that have been shown by research is that drinking tea uh, actually can uh, help prevent 
our cells from aging. So it's even has a, I'm sure the emperor didn't have the science, but appreciated that anti-aging properties of tea prevents our telomeres from shortening. So we stay, our cells stay younger, slow down cellular aging. Um, there's a polyphenol. Everybody talks about polyphenols. <clears throat> I like to be specific. So the polyphenol that tea that has been best studied in tea is called EGCG. Uh, epigallocatechin gallate, EGCG, and green tea has a lot of it because it's closest to what comes off the tea plant. Um, and, and then everything from that, all teas come from that downstream in terms of how they're prepared. Um, uh, but green tea has, you know, as much as 16 times that EGCG than some of the more processed or handled uh, teas. And one of the, my favorite things to talk about EGCG is that I did research on this with the National Cancer Institute is if you take tea um, and you put it into the same system that is growing blood vessels that would feed a cancer. Cancers are harmless if they can't get a blood supply. And if you put tea in that system, the blood vessels that would feed a tumor cannot grow. It takes, it, it takes them right apart, prevents new ones from growing. And, you know, and so people um, say, well, that's really amazing. Was it hot tea or cold tea? Well, in the research lab, we've got to use nice. cold tea we use cold tea, um, and so um, it, obviously you wouldn't put a pour hot tea into a into a dish. You'd, you'd cook everything. Um, so this goes to show uh, that the hot tea, which is where it started, and that we had to chill the tea in the refrigerator in a glass um, a pitcher, we turned the hot tea into iced tea, and the next day when it was cold, we then tested it in the lab. So this shows that this anti-angiogenic, cancer-starving property of tea, the EGCG, is present in both the hot tea and preserved through, you know, from the steeping, but also preserved in the refrigeration and cooling and still works when it's cold. So I, I think that the good news there is a hot tea, iced tea, it all works. It actually helps our circulation. It's been shown in the lab to help fight cancer growth. Other studies have shown lowers blood pressure, helps your blood cholesterol, helps your immune system. It's got antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties. And the thing that, one of the things that, you know, I always say is, you know, show me the, the evidence. Well, there's been clinical studies involving people showing that drinking two to three cups of green tea a day is associated with more than a 40% reduction in the risk of developing colon cancer. It's um, wonderful that, you know, you can be any age. You could be a teenager. You could be, I mean, like, you know, young kids are starting to really come on to tea as well. Um, and I think that this is um, something that can, tea is something you can drink your whole life. And that's the other wonderful thing. Oh, let me share a little bit about the um, the different types of diseases that tea has been shown through research to be protective of and how much you need to drink. And so we talked about the fact that for colon cancer, research has shown that drinking two to three cups of green tea uh, causes a a, a substantial reduction of about 40 some percent um cardiovascular disease um you know heart disease which in cardiovascular is all the blood vessels in our body stroke brain uh, heart attack four cups of tea a day which i easily drink four cups of tea a day um has been shown to substantially lower the risk of heart disease same amount dose for lowering the risk of lupus which is an autoimmune inflammatory disease calming the immune system down to the right size and you know some of the things that really surprised me by lowering inflammation without compromising our immunity against bacteria and viruses um you know about four to five cups a day has been shown to be beneficial to protect against multiple sclerosis which is an autoimmune disease and rheumatoid arthritis as well